everybody. Welcome to Keep My Shorts. I'm Steve, and this is Maggie. She's just wandering around behind me. Happy Tincture Tuesday. It is Tincture Tuesday today. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be doing Tincture Time with Chase the Heat today, but um, jo Johnny's out of town. He's uh, out visiting family, so he's not able to host the meeting. However, he, he has kind of passed the torch to David Martin again, the Pepper Apprentice. So I think we need to all kind of bug I bug David Martin, uh, comment on his videos and whatnot, uh, comment on his Instagram, let him know that we want him to host Tincture Time again, because he did it last week with us. He hosted the Tincture Time last week and he did a great job, so why not keep it going? You did an awesome job at it, we all love you, and we all want to see you again either way, you're probably going to be there either way, so you may as well host it so we can all still go ahead with it. So anyways, just in case we don't have uh, tincture time with uh, with the crew today, with the Chase the Heat bus, I want to make sure that we get a tincture video in today. So this morning, I'm going to be reviewing the last one in the tincture lineup that was gifted to us from Robert B. and Nick Kemps. This is the Butterscotch tincture. It's not quite focusing on the label. There we are. Butterscotch from Hell Garden. And of course, this is the Black Dot edition from him as well. That's a really cool color. It looks really nice. Look at that. That's a beautiful looking tincture. All of Nick's tinctures are such nice looking tinctures. And when they're flavored, they have such nice, pleasant, subtle, additional flavors to them. I really dig that. I really like straight up pepper forward tinctures, but I really like what he can do with the flavors. Um, tell you a little bit about the tincture here. Of course, we're not gonna give away any secrets here, just some basic ingredients here of what's gone into this tincture. The peppers used in this butterscotch tincture are white, the seven pot, seven pot pink, peach scorpion, and yellow brain strain. That's a nice, nice light colored, super hot run. Um, Nick says that he flavors this tincture with butterscotch candies. Uh, he did it by spe special request. He says the flavor comes off pretty light, but lots of folks like it. So I can, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and predict that we're gonna like it as well because I've never had a tincture from Nick that I didn't absolutely love. Um, let's give it a good little shaky shake before we get into it. Make sure we get all that capsaicin evenly dis distributed in that container. Look at that. I like that. I like it when it has all the little bubbles floating up through it. And I also really like the color of this tincture. Um, I guess I don't really even need to step back at all. I'm at a good spot right here. The, ham the camera's actually up on the third step of the, the shop stairs. This is my shop. We've actually done one other video in here before. It's, um, it's changed a li little bit since then. That tabletop that has no le legs actually is the old desk from the sewing room. Um, I finally got that pro project moving along and now I just need to put some legs on this one now that I've got some room in the shop. There's actually like, I don't even know, like 10 feet by 8 feet of free space there once I move, move all this. This is just like a shelf and a toolbox and a table saw and a, and a portable workstation. It's a kind of thrown together workbench. But anyways, we are getting sidetracked here. Um, give this a couple squeezes so that we don't... Oh, that's, that's too much. I'm not doing that much on my first one. That's a little more realistic. Okay. So, as always, I'm ne I never do a Robbie Dropper on my first, um, first test of a product. And this one is no different. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm surprised it can focus on all of that at once, actually. Mm -hmm. I'm basically just doing that for a thumbnail purpose, to be honest with you. I don't know if I've ever done a thumbnail with the full dropper in the thumbnail. I like to mix it up, hey? I like to do different stuff and be creative. That's the artist in me. So anyways, as we get sidetracked once again, this is Butterscotch Tincture from Hell Garden courtesy of Nick Kemps and Robert B. And I forgot to mention that on the Lil Nitro video, 
that tincture that I used was a part of that gift as well. I did not remember to mention that, and I feel really bad about that, to be honest. I like to credit people when they give me something. I like to, for pe people to know that that was a gift, because that's pretty special. This is awesome. Robert B., Nick Kemps, all of you, the whole Keep My Shorts family, thank you so much. You are all awesome. I love you all. So, let's get into this. I'm not actually stalling, I'm just... Um, getting sidetracked. I've been doing that all morning. <laughs> been trying to get to this video all morning and it's now like, I don't even know, 11 o'clock, 11.30. Anyways, enough of the word I can't remember. <laughs> Procrastinating. Keep my shorts. He's right, it is subtle, but it, it, whoo, it is there. It's got a sweetness that a tincture doesn't have, and it's definitely a butterscotch sweetness. This would be so good in coffee. I say would, this will be so good in coffee, maybe even this afternoon. I'm one of those folks I love an afternoon coffee once in a while. Um, if I'm feeling a little bit sleepy or low energy, I love having an afternoon coffee. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't upset my sleep at all any more than it's already upset. And actually, having said that, I've been having pre pretty good sleeps lately for sure. Now, I haven't talked about the heat on this at all. I'm at a five and a half out of ten. Maybe a six. Yeah, I'm at a six out of ten on my heat scale. What do you think of that, Maggie? Hey, what do you think, Maggie? What you doing? Yeah, she wants to go outside really bad. She really wants to go outside, but it's so smoky out there. I said that funny. The tincture is getting me by the throat right now. It's really smoky outside. It's gross. Whew. This might be pushing me to a 7. I might be going to a 7 out of 10. You got a few hairs in your eye. I'm just still just holding this up. I tend to do that, you notice that? I'll just keep holding it up. It's funny. I can feel the spice around my eyes and around my mouth. Wow. So if I didn't mention it in this video yet. The black dot on the label of this indicates that Nick Kemp's has added pure capsaicin crystals into this. Woo! Effect, I'm um, essentially making it twice as hot as it would have been. Huh. Yeah, very glossy eyes. It's absolutely annihilating my throat right now. It's just burning it up. <sighs> I'm at a seven. A seven, if you're watching this, David Martin. Seven out of ten. I love that joke. Oh, wow. That is a good burn. Let's see if I can stand up on these steps here. There we go. Yeah. Nothing like yesterday. If you saw my Toe of Satan video yesterday, that got me to an 8 or a 9 out of 10. That was wild. But I kept it all down. We were good. No cap cramps either, actually. It was all good. <sighs> I'm not sure if it peaked or if that's the endorphins. I think that might have been an endorphin dump. Because I feel kind of floaty now and it feels really good now. I don't feel... I feel still spicy but like a four out of ten now. Yeah. Maggie's cuddling up to my leg right now. It's pretty cute. <laughs> yeah. She's a cute little dog. It's her birthday soon. August 4th. 
is Maggie's birthday. I think it just misses the family reunion. I'm not, I'm not sure what day of the week it actually is. You can check right now. I have a calendar on my phone. Um, you'll know by the time I post this, though. Wednesday of next week is Maggie's birthday. I'll have to do something fun for her birthday. I don't know what yet, but definitely expect a Maggie video that day. Wow. That was a good burn. Um, I'm totally good now. That was um, a little bit bigger than my average first drop on a tincture test. And that hit me pretty hard. I like that. Robert B. Nick Kemp's. Thanks for the burns, buddy. Buddies, sorry. That's two separate people. <laughs> two separate awesome people, for sure. Like, both great people. Really good buddies. So anyways, don't know what else I'm getting up to today. Other than hopefully tincture tip time with um, David Martin, the Pepper Apprentice, hopefully this afternoon. Um, if not, if I don't see you again, I hope you have a great day. Hope you're already having a great day. And I hope it continues on this path. <sighs> what day is it today? Well, it's Tuesday. It's Tincture Tuesday. Right. Hope you have a great Tuesday if I don't see you again. I love you all. I appreciate you all. So does Maggie. Um, this is really her channel. I just do the talking for her because she is still learning how to talk. She hasn't quite mastered it yet. But anyways, we both appreciate you so much. So does Lady Shorts. We all appreciate you so much. We love you. So don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment down below. And subscribe to the channel <laughs> if you haven't already. This has been another Tincture Review with Maggie and Steve. Hellgarden Butterscotch. Make sure you try this stuff out. It doesn't have to be the black dot edition stuff. It can be about half as hot as what I just did. But we're pushing our tolerance here. And we're having fun doing it. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. This has been Heat My Shorts. Bye-bye.